Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest technical interview experience of Delta X. In this particular interview experience, I will be covering all the questions which were asked, whether it is from OOPS, whether it is from coding, whether it is from project. So all different type of questions which have been asked in the interview, I will be discussing in this video in detail. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And guys, also in the middle of this video, I will also be telling you about the resources you can consider for preparing for your interviews because Delta X on campus hiring is going on and every day there are exams that are going on on the campuses and okay and interviews have also been there okay so I will also be discussing about the resources you can consider for the preparation of your interview okay so now let's start this video before starting the video guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because since 2026 placement season is just starting so lot of videos regarding different different companies I will be posting here okay I will be making the videos as well as I will be posting them on the telegram group please join it the links you will find in the description box so now let's start the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button before moving ahead okay so guys first question that will be asked from you in any interview is tell me about yourself in this particular question you can answer like what is your uh, name what is your education background what is your skills what are the projects that you have done any internships any achievement or any extra activity or any internship any research paper that you have published so all these type of things you can tell to the interviewer in detail okay your answer must lie in between one or one and a half minute okay and interviewer should get a clarity of all resume all things that you have mentioned in your resume as well so make sure to prepare this question very well because in lot of companies this will be your first question okay next question is what are your goals in life so guys goals are of two types one is of short term goal another one is of the long term goal short term goal can be uh, uh, you want to get a job in a reputed mnc long term goal can be that you want to become a team lead in like next three to four years or five years okay you should you want to lead a team okay there can be career goals as well there can be personal goals as well so all these things you can tell to the interviewer there is no right or wrong answer in this particular question it just depends on person to person okay now let's move ahead in the next question next question is why do you want to join this company that is delta x now guys see the question the answer that i have given here it is not specific to delta x you can use this answer in any company i admire the company's work culture tech stack and the opportunity to work on large scale meaningful projects i believe it is a great place to grow technically and professionally this is just two line answer but you can al always add your thoughts in it and you can tell this answer in any interview okay now moving towards the next question is tell me about your projects guys whenever you are giving any technical interview this is the most important question that an interviewer can ask you now guys see why i am saying that this project related question is important because your interview will be around 35 to 45 minutes okay now maximum time what you should try to do is you should drive the interview how you can drive the interview is by mentioning two or more projects in your resume and whenever a question about your projects is asked you should you should know about your project in detail okay the answer should be on your tips so extra 5 to 10 minutes you can divert the interview towards your projects okay what project you made why you made this project what is the future scope of this project what is the tech stack that you have used in the project okay any challenges you faced how you overcome those challenges what is the new thing new feature you are implementing it all these type of questions can be asked from you in the interview okay prepare your projects very well because it is the best way to drive your interview and take maximum time of the interviewer okay so i hope this thing is clear to you if you do not know how to explain your project in the interview i have made a dedicated video on this channel i will give you the link in the i button okay <clears throat> let's move ahead next question is <coughs> what is oops concepts so oops stands for object oriented programming it's a programming approach based on real world objects include concepts like inheritance encapsulation polymorphism and abstraction these are also known as four pillars of oops so you should know each and every pillar of oops in detail because it's a very important question and like what are the types of inheritance what are types of polymorphism how we can implement them all these things you should know because very important topic oops concepts okay next question is 
describe inheritance polymorphism encapsulation and abstraction so guys these are four pillars of oops like just like i have told you these these questions are really important okay this question is really important it will cover everything you should know everything about inheritance polymorphism encapsulation and abstraction inheritance in one word in one line is reusing code by extending classes polymorphism mean one method behave differently based on the object Next is encapsulation, wrapping data and methods together using the access modifiers. Next is abstraction, hiding internal logic and showing only the necessary details. So you should know everything about the four pillars of OOPS. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have important interview IT subject notes. Now, guys, since Delta X hiring is going on and everyday interviews are happening for your colleges, okay, so these notes can be very much beneficial for your last minute preparation. So in these particular notes, we have covered all the subjects which are important for your interviews. Okay, all the technical subjects. We have C++ OOPS interview questions, Java OOPS interview questions, Python OOPS interview questions, DBMS queries. We have uh, uh, DBMS questions. We have we have SQL queries solved. We have coding questions which are very commonly asked in the technical interviews. Operating system, networking, machine learning, and cloud computing because your projects will be on these subjects. Okay, managerial and HR questions. So all these subjects from which the question can be asked from you in the interviews we have covered here okay for every subject in these notes we have a dedicated pdf which contains around 20 to 25 important questions with their answers okay if i will show you let's suppose the java interview pdf so once you will get these pdfs once you will open the java pdf you will see we have a proper question given here we have the proper answer how you will have to answer in the interview and wherever possible we have given the code snippet as well so that you have the better understanding of the topic okay similarly if you will open this coding pdf you will see we have a proper question and we have given a proper answer to it code to it okay so every subject that is mentioned here a dedicated pdf is there inside these notes and for every subject we are covering 20 to 25 important questions with their answers which are very commonly and important for your interviews okay so you can see here it has a rating of 4.2 out of 5 and you can see 2185 people have already bought it so a lot of people have been benefited for it so if you think that these notes can be helpful for you the links are in the description box now let's continue with the video now let's continue <clears throat> next is what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding so method overloading means same method name with different parameters in the same class you should also know the code of it overriding means same method name and parameters in the child class to modify parent class behavior i hope it's clear to you next question is what are access levels in java now guys see why specific java related questions are asked because in resume this candidate mentioned that his preferred language is java but you can have c plus plus python also as your preferred language so just make sure to prepare one oops language and prepare everything about it okay access level in java so private ex, uh, private default protected and public so you can explain to the interviewer the same thing okay next is why interfaces when abstract classes can be used because uh, there is one word answer interfaces provide multiple inheritance opportunity whereas using abstract classes we cannot achieve multiple inheritance i hope this question is also clear to you <clears throat> next question is there were two coding questions which were given to the student you were asked to share your screen okay or or, or pen or paper will be given to you and you will be given two questions wherein you just have to write the logic okay so first question was given an array of integers calculate the pivot index the pivot index is the index where the sum of all the numbers strictly to the left of the index is equivalent to the sum of all the numbers strictly to the right of the index okay so this is a pivot element if you remember this same question was asked in the coding round also of this delta x so your second round coding questions are also important because same questions can be asked from you in the interview i hope this is clear to you next question was roman to integer so this was the second question again you just have to write the algorithm not the full running code roman to integer you need to convert i hope this question is clear to you now next uh, next question was where do you find yourself in next five years so again you can be a team lead you can be a designer or anything you want but it's dependent on you very important question the last question of this interview was tell me about your previous two rounds of experience so first round was mcq second round was coding so based on your experience you can describe that what things you liked and how was the difficulty level and what challenges you faced all these things you can discuss in detail 
ओके सो दीज वर ऑल द क्वेश्चन दैट वर आज इन डेल्टा एक्स इंटरव्यू इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट आई शुड मेक मोर सच वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग एम सी क्यूज कोडिंग और इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ओके दैट येस यू वॉन्ट सच वीडियोज एंड प्लीज हिट दैट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन बिकॉज इट विल मोटिवेट मी फॉर मेकिंग मोर सच वीडियोज एंड गाइज एज आई हैव जस्ट टोल्ड यू इन बिटवीन ऑफ द वीडियो दैट ऑन टॉप माइ पेज ऑफ कोड बैचल वी हैव इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू आई टी सब्जेक्ट नोट्स ओके दीज नोट्स कैन इज will be very much beneficial for you for your last minute preparation all the subjects that are important we have covered and for every subject there are around 25 to 30 important interview questions with their answer how you have to explain in the interview okay so if you are interested you can find the link in the pinned comment as well as in the description box so do check them out thank you for watching this video